Hello, today we'll look on uh, how to create, we'll continue creating simple product in Magento Turo and we'll look on inventory section. First of all, a few words about inventory section. And here we can set the quantity of units you currently possess in your inventory. Furthermore, you can specify whether or not an item is in, in stock or out of stock. First of all, in Magento stock, you have to press yes and start filling in. First, fill in the quantity with the number of items you have in your store. For example, we have 100 items. Next, uh, write quantity for item status to become out of stock. It specifies the product's quantity in stock to be considered as out of stock. Usually the value is set to zero, but I've put here one just uh, in case to leave some. Uh, but we'll put it on zero. Okay, next goes minimum quantity allowed in shopping cart. This may be useful if you want to encourage who sell customers buying certain quantities of products available in store. Uh, for example, max minimum is uh, two in your cart. Then goes maximum quantity allowed in shopping cart. It limits the number of products in the shopping cart if, for example, you want to avoid mass buyouts in your store. Next, you should decide whether to tick yes or no in quantity use decimals. But we'll cho whether choose no or yes, but we'll choose yes. And then choose if you want to divide it into multiple boxes for shipping or no. We'll choose, for example, no. Then, back orders. Uh, you should choose uh, one uh, of three back orders. First goes no back orders. It means that it doesn't allow placing orders for products out of stock. Then goes allows quantity below zero. Uh, it allows placing orders for products with negative inventory. Uh, the third allows quantity below zero and notify customers. It allows placing orders for products with negative inventory and when products appear in store, customers who have placed orders for this product are automatically notified that they may proceed with checkout. Uh, next, go notify quantity below. Uh, when stock level of any product goes below this level, the one that you set, Magento will automatically notify you via RSS feed. For example, we'll put 5 in our case. Uh, next, you should uh, choose whether enable uh, quantity increments or not. You can choose yes or no. Increments is good for those who sell uh, goods in packages, in big, uh, large packages. And here, you should... Uh, um, uh, Fill in the quantity increments, for example, I don't know, 5. And uh, if you uh, here, if you want to sell your products in increments, uh, you should desire quantity number, this one. And a customer will be able to purchase this product only in the increment that you specify. For example, you have a package where there is uh, 10 items and your customer can buy uh, not less than five from this package. Okay, and uh, n last, stock availability. If you want to temporarily remove an item from sale, select the out of stock option in the drop down menu, this one. If you want it to be in stock, just choose in stock. So that's all. Don't forget to press save in order to save all your changes. Thank you for your attention.